Okay, so the Eternals trailer came out a few weeks ago, and um, I was already pretty excited uh, for this movie back when it was announced um, because of, um, you know, how, how the origins of the Eternals is tied to um, the origins of the X-Men in Marvel Comics. Um, actually, um, let me uh, let me actually uh, explain what happens in the trailer first. So... The trailer actually uh, answers the question of why didn't the Eternals uh, do anything um, when, when Thanos came to Earth uh, trying to form the Infinity Gauntlet and whatnot. And um, <clears throat> they say that um, they were ordered not to interfere uh, unless deviants were involved. Um, so uh, this was a question that uh, I thought was only going to be answered in the movie. Like you would, you would have to uh, go see the movie in order to actually know um, why the Eternals uh, did not stop Thanos. Um, but no, they, they actually sh show the scene in the trailer. Um, so, you know, obviously now more people are going to see it. And um, yeah, it's just overall better that um, it's not only in the movie, but also in the trailer. And um, it also begs the question of whether or not if Thanos is a deviant, which, you know, if the Eternals didn't get involved, then the answer would have to be no, right? But is that the case in the comics? And the answer is that um, in the comics, uh, Thanos is actually an Eternal with the deviant gene. Um, so I'm not sure if they're actually uh, going to stick with that uh, in the movie because uh, the MCU does tend to do things differently um, from uh, the comics. Um, they, you know, if, if they don't keep uh, the fact that he's a deviant with it with uh, an eternal with a deviant gene, um, then then you know he might just be his own unique species or, or whatnot. But um. You know, if they do uh, stick with him being an Eternal with the Deviant Gene, then it would still make sense, you know, because the Eternals could say, hey, you know, Thanos is technically one of us, so um, that's why, you know, we didn't interfere, you know? So, uh, you know, this also might be uh, potentially, um, you know, us seeing uh, Thanos' origin story, uh, possibly. Um I don't, I don't think so, not really, but, um, you know, it, it, it's a possibility at least. Um, now, I, I've been throwing around um, a lot of terms uh, here, so uh, let me explain, you know, who the Celestials are um, and, and what, you know, Deviant and, and Eternal, you know, actually mean. Um, so the Celestials are these uh, immensely powerful uh, cosmic beings, you know. They've been around for, for like... A really 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 long time um, you know they supposedly created um, the the universe uh, you know in, in the comics and, and whatnot you know th there's this a whole long history uh, of you know you know what the celestials ha ha have done you know before life on earth and everything like that you know so you know <laughs> it, it's they, there's a lot to the celestials um, that, that, that can be said about them, but, but for the sake of um, what, what's going on in the movie, we're, we're just going to talk about, um, you know, things related to what's going on in the movie. So what the Celestials do is um, they, they come to a planet and they basically try to uh, shape the way um, evolution of life on that planet plays out. And then years later, they come back to see how their experiment is going. And uh, so what they did here is uh, they created three different subspecies uh, of uh, Earth's natives. Um, they gave um, superior mutations um, to uh, the Eternals, and so that's where they come from. They gave uh, certain humans uh, unchecked mutations, which is where deviants come from. And then they gave um, certain humans um, normal mutations. And you know, that manifests and uh, eventually, you know, gives these people's uh, superpowers at some point in their life, which is where mutants uh, in the comics comes from. So that's why I say, you know, this could tie into the origins of the X-Men in, uh, in the MCU. So, you know, I don't really expect uh, us to actually see mutants uh, in the Eternals movie. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll get a scene of the Celestial Host happening you know, like like them creating the three different subspecies 
Um, but other than that, and maybe a post credit scene, um, don't expect to see uh, mutants in the Eternals exactly. Um, but um, yeah, definitely, um, we're, we're probably going to see um, uh, the beginning of the introduction of mutants in the MCU uh, in this movie. Um, but, you know, it's just going to be only a little bit of, at a time very slowly because that's how the MCU tends to do things. And so that's how I expect um, them to continue to do things because that's what's been working so far. So, uh, you know, don't get mad. Don't get upset if we, we don't see mutants in the Eternals um, outside of maybe a post credit scene or something, okay? They're not going to be a, a big part of the film. It's called the Eternals, not history of the Marvel Universe or whatever. <laughs> so, um, as far as the Deviants go, um, they, they, they weren't all that prominent in the trailer, which to me suggests that they're not going to be that big of a... They're not going to play that big of a role in, in the movie. Like, obviously, they, they're going to be in, in, involved, you know, of course. But um, I don't really think that um, the movie is going to have a proper villain exactly. Um, you know, like I said, the Deviants are obviously going to be involved. But like I said, that they're probably not going to have that big of a role in the movie. If anything, I think the, the real villains of the movie are going to be um, the Celestials because... Um, you know, as they said in the trailer, um, when the snap that brought everybody back uh, happened, um, that apparently gave off the energy needed for the emergence to happen. Now, I'm not exactly sure um, what they mean by the emergence, but um, it could mean a couple of things, you know, like what, what I'm thinking it probably means is that it's time for... Um, the Celestials to come back to Earth to see how, um, you know, things have played out with the experiment and whether or not the Eternals have been doing their job of protecting the Earth um, from deviants and whatnot, you know. Excuse me. So, this is probably going to be, you know, like, like basically when the Celestials judge a planet, they, they basically determine whether or not the planet will be destroyed or if they'll let it live. And, um, you know, so that's what I'm thinking, you know, the emergence is uh, it probably also is in reference to the dreaming celestial who's probably been asleep within earth you know all this time and then when everybody was brought back by the hulk snap um you know that's what woke him up you know and, and that's why the emergence is happening so you know beats me as to what the emergence is exactly but but those are just a few of the ideas that that i have um with what it could mean now um one last thing that I want to say about the movie. Um, don't exactly uh, get your hopes up uh, that we'll actually get to see the movie this year. <laughs> because um, uh, in case you haven't noticed, there's still a pandemic going on. And, um, you know, movies are getting delayed. Um, and uh, movies that are coming out are, are not doing very well at the box office. You know, like, like Black Widow didn't do anywhere near uh, as well as any... MCU movie would have uh, if a pandemic did not happen. <clears throat> and Suicide Squad, uh, despite um, being one of the highest rated, uh, actually the highest rated uh, DCEU movie, you know, that did badly at the box office as well, you know, despite lots of people liking the movie. So if Shang-Chi doesn't do well uh, at the box office and it comes out, you know, this weekend, you know, then uh, yeah. Basically, uh, don't expect to see the Eternals this year. It will absolutely 100% get delayed if Shang-Chi doesn't do well at the box office. And honestly, I don't expect it to. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, um, we, we can only hope that, that it'll do well enough that, that Disney will still decide to... Um, Release the Eternals um, this year. And, uh, you know, after the whole Scarlett Johansson lawsuit situation, they're definitely not going to be releasing it on Disney+. Plus. You know, they're, they're going to try to keep everything in theaters now so that way they don't wind up in that situation again. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. But if you ask me, I'm not expecting uh, this movie to, to, to come out this year. Um, I'm, I'm expecting it to get delayed again.
No, no, yeah. That, that's everything that uh, I wanted to say uh, about The Eternals. Um, I, I'm looking forward very much to, to seeing the movie, re regardless of whether or not if it gets delayed. I uh, absolutely cannot wait for this movie. I think it's going to be amazing. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much all I have to say.